Hello students, you're welcome to business studies class and our topic for today is consumer rights. In looking at the topic, we'll be viewing the topic from two aspects, as a consumer and customers. Now consumers are the final users or the end users of products, while customers are the people and organization that buys or purchase products. Then consumer rights, looking at the term consumer rights. Consumer rights is the liberty that end users of products are entitled to. The liberty that end users of products are entitled to. Now, consumerism as a term is the coming together of end users of product to fight for their own rights and to protect their common interest. The term consumerism is a movement that originated from uh, decades ago from the United States of America when a group of uh, 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 consumers came together to and, uh, sensitize and educate other consum consumers to come together to make a move to fight against exploitation by producers or traders who went about cheating or exploiting consumers. And from the, that point, the, the, the consumers then had a move that then began to fight for the rights of consumers and the interests of consumers. Now, we have some eight universal rights of the consumer, eight universal rights of a consumer. Before we talk about the eight universal rights of the co consumers, I'm very sure that it was at that point when consumers fought for their rights and their common interests, they came together to form that move, that the government took it upon themselves then to establish agencies who will protect the rights of consumers as well as the interests of consumers. Now, this eight universal rights of the consumers uh, for the first one, which is right to seek redress. Consumers have the right to lodge complaints about any dissatisfaction arising as a, as a result of the usage of a product. Right to seek redress, have, have the right to lodge complaints, and when the, 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 the dissatisfaction has not been met, they have the right to even go further, to even to the court to sue such a business about such dissatisfaction for there to be a correction. And another right of the consumer is right to choose. Products that are made available to the consumer must not be on the aspect of, mono, even at, at, at the point of monopoly, the consumer should be given the right to choose when variety of product from, choose from a variety of products made available to them. Even in the point of monopoly, the consumer should still have the right to make choices as regard the usage of products made available to them. The third right of a consumer we have is right to be informed. The consumers must be given updates, dates, up-to-date information about products that are being sold, that are being produced, that are being made or circulated to consumers. The product consumers must be given up-to-date information as regards those products. And that's why we discuss about advertising, the creation of awareness of products to consumers, especially new products that have been made available to consumers, to create awareness to them about information, all details about the usage of such products. The fourth right of a consumer we have is right to safety right to safety. The first one we talked about is right to seek redress, and we talked about right to choose. We've talked about right to be informed, and the fourth is right to safety. The premises where goods and products are being 
given to consumers are being sold to consumers or the premises where services are rendered to consumers must be free from debt or litter and that's why we have we, we when we look view places like the hotels the restaurants the bank these are areas and so many other business premises when you look at these business premises where services and goods are being sold to the consumers these places are usually free from debt or litter. Then we have right to a clean environment. The right to a clean environment. The right to a clean environment is that the consumers must be free from harm, must be free from exploitation, must be free from all forms of debt that may harm them. And then the sixth is right to fair pricing, right to fair prices. The amounts of products that are being so, uh, made available to consumers that are being sold to the consumers must be moderate. Those amounts must be moderate. If you look at it, you see that many producers, they tend to use this opportunity of increasing prices of product to exploit or to cheat the customers or consumers. This shouldn't be. We see it from this point as a violation of the right of the consumer. Take for example now, the recent times now, we we'll, we'll discovered that in recent times, the, the prices of Nera in, 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 compared to dollar has been seriously increased and as such uh, producers or sellers they use the opportunity to want to cheat the consumers by increasing the prices of goods that we already know are being produced in Nigeria. These goods are not imported. For example, now yam. We don't import yam. We don't import uh, cocoa. But we see that these goods that are produced and available to us in our country here are being increased. And also we notice that uh, the uh, mobile phone users, the media, the, the increase prices of data and airtime for, for cell phone users when we know that we may not have even made a call or used any data or text message, but in one way or the other, they have a way of increasing or making deductions when we have not make, made use of this uh, credit at times or call or data. Another way of exploitation or violation of the, the, the rights of consumer by non-fair prices is look at uh, the fuel uh, sellers or the fuel or diesel sellers. You see many of them adjusting their meter, their, the meter of their tanks to uh, sell absurd prices to consumers uh, uh, by adjusting their meter. And in all those ways, you see that the, the, in one way or the other, they are violating the right of the consumer. So fair prices, moderate prices must be sold to consumers as regards products available to them. Then the other right, another seventh right we'll talk about is right to be heard. Now, the consumer have a right to be heard concerning the products that they use concerning the business itself or even their employees. Now, if our employees can listen to the opinion of consumers or customers, it can go a long way to boost the business. And this will help increase or grow the business to a better level. Then we have the, the eighth right of the consumer, which is right to get value for money. The right to get value for money. The consumer has the right to get value for every need and want that are being made available to them by the producers or sellers. They have the right 
to get value for each product that is being made available to them to satisfy their needs and wants. Anything short of that will be an infringement of the rights of the consumers. If business people can hit to obeying, the, uh, 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 honoring the rights of the consumer, it will go a long way to boost the business because any wise entrepreneur will always have it in mind that the consumer is a king and should be treated as a king or a queen. And that leads us to the term which we refer to as consumer sovereignty. This consumer sovereignty. If a business or entrepreneur have this in mind, they will always treat the consumer as a king and queen and honor their rights as a consumer. And this will help any business in having better profit making, which we know is the sole aim of every business organization. So far, we have talked about who the consumer is and who a customer is. We have talked about consumerism as a movement by a group of consumers who came together decades ago to fight for their own rights and to protect their common interests. And we have considered the eight universal rights, which are the right to seek redress, the right to choose, the right to be informed, the right to safety, the right to a clean environment, and the right to get value for money, the right to fair pricing, and the right to be heard. Thank you.